I'm just gonna tell you it is my birthday and I have been coming to this area if not this trail this area every year on my birthday for a long time I'm gonna cut that branch out on the way back I promise I will I have to come right back down this trail and so on the way back I'll certainly cut that out took me a couple took me several years to find it oh, come on. oh you peace so the reason I took that little tumble right here is because I was trying to miss this overhanging branch. So we're gonna take my gomboy saw right here. We're gonna remove the problem and toss it over there. And this one is also not great. So I'm gonna find it. This one right here. Like that. Showing people. Oh, that has got to be taken out. Let's take that out right now. Because that branch is going to kill someone. I didn't even notice it was there. That log is really, really in the wrong spot. Shoot. So this, tr this log is as high as the bike up there in the middle of the trail way off camber. I think if I cut this tree out with my saw, I may be able to drag this tree down and get it off the trail. We'll see. I drug it down a little bit. I used a lever up there with a the lodge pole to try to move it. Now I'm just using my uh, Gomboy, um, silky Gomboy trail saw to cut through the top and the bottom. Let me get this sucker out of here. Um, stand by. And there you have it. That's a pretty big log. Cut through the top, then I cut through the bottom. Coming up, got that thing to split, and I'm gonna get it out of the trail. Sorry I'm winded. Now that section is there. And that other section is up there. That's a 30 foot long log that fell right down in the, this single track here in the turn. I took 10, 15 minutes to uh, saw that log out and get this trail open back up. Now it's time to head up it. Enjoy the fruits of my spoils, my labors. Cut that baby out. This one has been particularly time consuming. It was a massive tree. I've made about 20 cuts so far to get the tree, that big one, and then 20 cuts off of this thing, just the tree surrounding to try to get it cut out of here. Um, I'm gonna get it. Broke the tip off my saw, but it's still going. Maybe not take a second. The magic of film editing, you can now see 20 minutes later and about 30 cuts later. Some of it's on that side, most of it's down there. Literally, I had to cut out like four trees to get that one massive tree off the trail. And it took like 30 cuts with my saw. But she's clear now. I've been spending so much energy clearing the trail and cut it, cutting it out. Let's cut that out. My goodness. Too much in the trail. I'm gonna cut you out. Really. So, I'm a lot more tired than I normally would be. That, that one needs to be cut out too. That's too low. Too low, too low. Too much in the trail. You are no longer in the trail. That's pieces. We gotta go down more like that. Sweet. Put the 
saw back in the pack. Let's put it all the way up so we don't lose everything. My goggles are fogging up now. Gotta get the right knee with it. Get some airflow. This is one that I cleared out today. Super sweet, 30 foot long, massive log. Cleared that one out today. Had to cut it in the middle. Yeah, no dab. Dab there. What a rewarding day though. Absolutely brilliant day. Promised I'd cut that tree out on my way up and I wanna stay true to my word. I've cut about 60 or 70 things today. What's one more? I had at least 10 dirt bikers go up and down this trail today that I know of that I saw. Nobody took the time to cut that out. But I did. And I'm exhausted now. I told myself I wasn't gonna sit until I got down to the truck. There's a log up here I might have to sit down for because it's going super weird angle across the trail. You don't get a good place to jump it. I'll probably have to sit on that. All right, stand up. <laughs> 